Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we are going to be going over how to apply Lightroom presets and then how to tweak presets from there. Now, I don't know about you guys, but in the past I've got literally hundreds of presets um, and when I've applied them, they didn't look anything like I was expecting. And that's because presets are a really good starting point for a photo, but they're not the ending point. They're a starting point because they give us the kind of the style that we're looking for, but we need to change a few of the settings to get the overall result that we want. So now in this tutorial, we're going to be using two of my presets and we're going to be working with a range of different photos and we're going to be applying those presets to those photos. Now you're going to see that when we apply them, the immediate result isn't exactly what we're looking for. It doesn't look great, it looks a little bit crappy um, and we're going to kind of tweak the settings from there and you're going to see the settings that we need to tweak and that's kind of consistent across most of the photos and that's kind of the way presets work is it's that great starting point, but it doesn't it doesn't give you the end result. You have to tweak a few of those settings to get the style that you're kind of after. This isn't a plug for my presets in any way. I've literally given away my presets for free to thousands of people. So if you are one of those people, drop a comment below. I'd uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, okay, so let's get into the computer and we'll start uh, we'll start applying those presets. All right. Okay, so now we are in Lightroom. These are the photos that we're going to be working with. So we can see this photo. It's me in um, in the Malibu Mountains. So what we can see from this photo is there's lots of rich greens. There's nice colors. Um, what I want to do is I want the skin tones to be kind of that nice orange warmth, and I want to desaturate that tones. So I know the perfect preset for that is this Y01 preset that I have. And what that does is it desaturates all of those greens, leaves in a lot of the nice oranges. Um, so the first thing that we would do for just the colors, um, we're not going to be worrying about the cropping or removing any things like this. Um, in this tutorial, we're just going to be focusing on um, what we need to tweak for those colors. Cool. So if we look at this one, I think the first thing that I can see is it looks a little bit too contrasty. So we'll push up those shadows. Um, and because I want a little bit of the moodiness, we'll bring down the exposure. So that's already looking great. Um, I think we can see the sky is a little bit too teal. I think that's a, a dead giveaway. Um, for, for kind of people who use presets and don't tweak is when you look at their skies or their seas and they're just too tail. So we're gonna move that out of the negatives and back up into the positives until it just looks a little bit more blue. Um, so the saturations have been very desaturated. So we'll just bring back a little bit of the yellow to bring back a little bit of color in the grass. Um, let's look at the orange. Maybe we'll just warm up my skin tones a little bit and I think that looks pretty cool. Um, then you think there's just a tiny bit of hot spots on the back of the neck, um, so we can pull down the highlights. Um, and then, cool, so the color-wise, that's that's looking great. So if we come over to this one, we get this photo. You can see it's very different. Um, there's a few greens in there. It's still got a character in there, so we know that um, this is going to look good with our Y01 preset. So we click it. Immediately, we get a really nice, nice look. But it's a little bit too punchy, a little bit too contrasty, which we don't want. So we can just lift up the shadows to bring back a little bit of the information in our character here. If anything, we can just pull down that contrast a little bit negative, pull down the highlights to soften up those highlights here. And I think that's looking really cool. We get that really nice. Um, contrasting colors of the orange and the, and the teal look but that sky is just looking a little bit too teal for me so we'll just adjust the, the blue hue bring back a bit more of a normal sky we still get a nice contrast of the orange and blue teals so already that's that's really good you know just by tweaking um, highlights shadows exposure contrast and it's shifting that the hue of those colors ever so slightly in the saturation of them that's where the magic is going to come in with presets um, so I'm just going to pull down the intensity of the red uh, and just ever so slightly on the orange. And now we can see uh, a before and after. So we've got a very nice stylized um, photo here. So this next photo is me on the beach doing a handstand. Um, again, so we can see we've got lots of greens, there's blues, there's a subject. Um, so we know that the, the, the Y01 preset works great for when we have those conditions. Um, what we will do is uh, we'll apply it and we'll see the result that we get. So we'll go up to the top and it's just a teeny tiny bit bright for me. So we'll drop that, drop those highlights just ever so slightly. We can warm it up to give it a tropical vibe. Maybe even bring up the contrast and bring up the shadows to soften that out. Um, and that looks, that's looking pretty cool. So then we can kind of scroll down um, and we can shift the blue hue out of the teal to give that a bit more of a believable sky, maybe even with the aquas as well. Now, 
we want the water uh, and the skies to look a little bit more prominent as this is a beach photo so we want that kind of that nice intensity of the blues to come back in so we can just lift up the saturation of the blues um, back to about zero and we can see that brings back a lot of nice blues into the skies we can see there's nice yellows coming through here so what we can do is we can just increase that just to give a little bit of that extra orange yellowiness to the photo Cool. So I think that looks color wise, that looks great. So you can see again, just a very few minor tweaks to give it that kind of perfect result. It's not a one and done situation. It's apply the preset, see if that looks good and then kind of tweak from there. Great, so if, again, if we were gonna post this to something like Instagram, what I like to do is I like to do the eight by 10 crop. That gives us the most real estate on the Instagram screen, get our subject nice and centered, make sure our sky horizon line is nice and straight by drawing the line over. It's gonna just twist it for us, which is great. And then, boom, we do before and after. You can see this is um, a really nice edit. It's got that really nice desaturated greens in, the nice warmer skin tones. Um, so that one's looking good. If I move on to the next one, this is obviously a branded photo for a company named TrueBrain, uh, and we can see the photo is extremely flat. But again, we have that that person, um, the subject with nature has got a nice orange in it. It's got the greens in, so we know that our uh, Y01 preset is going to work great with this one. So we we'll just go ahead and, and apply it, um, and the colours it gives out are, are pretty nice, but it's still too flat. So what we'll do is we'll just push in some contrast and maybe just bring up the exposure and pull down the shadows just to give it a bit more contrast play with the whites um, and then it's still looking a little bit flat so what we can do is we can actually increase the vibrance and then just push up that saturation to give it that nice um, color contrast which is what we're looking for then we can add some more warmth into the photo and see how that's bringing out the oranges back in the mountains so now if we look at the oranges it's just looking a little bit um, too bright in those oranges so we can just pull the saturation down ever so slightly and then the brightness of the color is obviously what the luminance is so it's going to drag that down just to give a bit more richness to the orange and now i think that looks great we would just obviously give it a crop straighten it up and it would be great so now we're going to look at a different set of photos. We're going to look at um, more landscape photos. Um, we know that the Y01 preset is great for a subject um, in, in the frame with a nice kind of green background and it's going to desaturate those colors. Uh, for this, this next set of photos, we're going to be working with the original Z01 preset, which is great for landscapes. So if we apply the Z01 preset, you can see it doesn't give us the best result immediately. You might look at that and think it's okay, but where the power comes in is the most, the majority of the work has been done for us in that preset. So we can use that as our starting point and we can tweak from there. So just by just playing with the exposure, it brings back all this lovely color information of the photo. Um, we're gonna lift up the shadows to bring back more information. We're gonna give it a bit more contrast, make it a little bit more punchy. We can maybe just increase the clarity by a couple of pixels um, and then already that gives us a, a, an amazingly different approach to what we had when we first just applied the preset just basic changes now the oranges still look a little bit too orange so what we'll do is we can just pull down the saturation of that maybe pull up the saturation of the yellow to bring back a little bit of color um, in the orange down there and then if we wanted to we can obviously adjust the hue of that yellow to make it a little bit more green Okay, cool. So now we have a, uh, a photo of LA city skyline. Um, so now this is more of a nature one. So we know that's going to look great with our Z01. So we can see we can apply it and it does some really nice stuff. It really pulls out the highlights in the city, making it look nice and warm, golden hour vibes. And even over here in the, in the, um, in the clouds and over here on the sky. But what we can see straight away is it's just a little bit too dark. So um, one of the things we can do is we can just increase that exposure, um, maybe pull down the whites to pull off the harshness and maybe even just lift up the shadows to bring some of that information back, add a bit of contrast, uh, and then we can just warm the photo up because we want that golden hour vibe. So that's the kind of the look that we're going for. Um, maybe even just bring that back down to, to zero. And now we can see, we can go from a, a very normal photo to a really stylized golden hour city skyline photo by just applying the preset. But as we can see, when we first applied the preset, the results weren't that great, right? They just, it looked kind of dark. Now just by tweaking a few of those key settings, we've given us a really nice photo to work with. Of course, so now we have, um, photo over in the Malibu mountains uh, and just because it's bothering me way too much I'm just gonna have to rotate this because I can't edit it that um, that rotated don't know what I was thinking when I shot it must have been falling over 
Cool, so we can go ahead and apply the ZA1 preset, and what we can see is this adds a lot of orange into the photo, which is way, way, way too much. Um, so if this was a preset that we just bought and we were super excited to see it, we saw a lot of the before and after photos and we applied it and this was the result that we got, we might be really disappointed. But as we've been talking about, there's a lot of ways that we can just easily tweak and we can easily fix. So the first thing we can see is this is too orange. So we can just try and correct that by just moving the temperature slider to cool it down just a touch, maybe even just a touch more. And that's already made it look very stylized, still very orange and we're still gonna work on that. Um, we can just drop the exposure a little bit more to make it a little bit more moody. Um, bring down the contrast, maybe up the, up the shadows to reveal a little bit more of the photo. Um, and maybe drop that exposure even more to make it look even more stylish to bring out some of the deep oranges that we now have in this, um, in this beautiful mountain. And then we can just bring back some of the information at the bottom in the shadows. Uh, we can probably just bring back some of that clarity Already it's looking just a million times better. Just increase that vibrance. So now if we wanted to, we just pull down a little bit of the oranges just to tone those down just ever so slightly. Um, and then we can bring back some of the colors in the green and just bring some of that life back in the bottom of the photo. And now we have a really nice photo from what was at the very beginning, you know, really, um, really not a great style, it was just totally orange and we might just use that and give up. You know, by tweaking just a few of the settings, we've um, arrived at a really nice stylized photo in the style that I would have edited this photo from scratch. So we can see before and after, it gives us a really nice, nice photograph at the end. Of course, now we have the last photo, again, taken at golden hour, the sun is setting back there, it's a very dark photograph. You can see that again, we had to use the ND filter, which is why we're getting the vignetting in the top. Um, so what we'll do is we'll apply our ZA1 preset and that gives us a very contrasty sunset photo, which looks pretty cool. Um, but we wouldn't want to just leave it there. That's a great starting point. It gives us some really beautiful colors and texture in the water here. But again, it's just a starting point. So I think what we'll do first, because that vignetting is so strong, because that sun was so bright, we'll come down and we will enable profile corrections and that's just going to clean that up for us, which is great. Um, so then as the highlights are pulled down as, as low as they can go, we might just increase the exposure just ever so slightly and just lift up the shadows to pull back all the information in the dark areas of the photo, like on the sand. Now we can pull down the exposure and that reveals a little bit more information, making it look a little bit more golden hour. We can kind of flatten it off by reducing that contrast ever so slightly. Um, we could even increase that saturation just a touch now if we scroll down, now there's lots of nice colors that are going on here. If we want to save time, this is actually a really good trick and I've only just recently started using this. If you click this little icon and you go to a photo, because we clicked it in that luminance tab, whatever, whatever color area that we click on and drag up or down, it's going to increase the brightness of that color area. So if we click on here, click and hold, drag up and drag down, you see that's affecting the, the brightness and the darkness of that color temperature. And you can see over here, it's the, uh, the oranges and the yellows that are moving. We just wanted to brighten them up just ever so slightly so that brings this incredible light trail on the water that just looks absolutely beautiful. So we'll just pull that down just a little bit to reduce that intensity. So then one other thing we can do, we can see we've got some reds here um, that are hitting the sand. I might just push those up just to give a little bit more information in that color and then just increase that luminance because we know this is red, so that's gonna brighten up that color profile just a little bit. And because I have issues with straightness, I can't even look at this anymore, we're gonna straight this photo up and then that looks really nice. We might even just increase the overall exposure. And I think that looks absolutely stunning. So we have a before, and we have an after. So when we applied the preset, we had some really nice colors, but just by tweaking and spending just a few more minutes on the photo rather than just applying that preset and being done, we've ended up with a result that is just, you know, a million times better than just leaving the preset. So that's it guys, I hope that was helpful. I hope that uh, kind of showed you how to edit photos with using presets a little bit easier and to know that once you apply a preset, that's not the ending point. That is just a really good starting point. Think of it as a way to accelerate your photo editing. You apply it and now the photo editing can start. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cool, so now that one's, the guy's using his pressure washer behind me, which is really, I mean, I swear it's normally really quiet. <laughs> I got it two days ago and it's just not stopped using it. 
Sirens, sirens, sirens. It's the joy of living in LA, right? 